The next sentencing is for Karim Ilgaz. It is considered by the court that Karim Ilgaz, although filed as a criminal case against him because of a sexual assault, it is understood that he did not commit this crime and he did not participate in it. Also, he came to the prosecution office of his own free will and helped the prosecution office to make inquiries. Also, he said that he is very regretful because he was there, but could not stop the other ones. And also, the victim, Fatma Gul Ilgaz, has not made a complaint about him, and also he and the victim are married. He is absolved of any guilt or participation in this criminal event once and for all. That is Karim Ilgaz's sentencing. It is considered by the court that Viral Namli, who died on the 16th of June, 2012, is dismissed from this trial. It is considered by the court that Salim Yasaran violated the physical integrity of Fatma Gul Ilgaz. Even though he was under the influence of drugs, he raped her, he used force on her, and her physical and mental health deteriorated because of him. He knowingly committed this crime, together with the other ones who have already been given their sentences. Also because he ran away from the law, he is sentenced to imprisonment for 12 years, and there will be an increase of time to his punishment. According to the 86th and 102nd clauses of the Turkish criminal law, he is sentenced to imprisonment for 18 years without any hope whatsoever for parole. That is Salim Yasaran's sentencing. It is considered by the court that Erdogan Yasaran violated the physical integrity of Fatma Gul Ilgaz. Even though he was under the influence of drugs, he raped her and he used force on her, and her physical and mental health deteriorated because of him. He knowingly committed this crime together with the other ones who have already been given their sentences. Also, because he ran away from the law, he is sentenced to imprisonment for 12 years, and there will be an increase of time to his punishment. According to the 86th and 102nd clauses of the Turkish criminal law, he is sentenced to imprisonment for 18 years, due to the fact that Erdogan Yasaran instigated the other ones to commit this crime. He tampered with evidence, he battered Fatma Gul Ilgaz, he is sentenced to imprisonment for 21 years. That is Erdogan Yasaran's sentencing. last one. I hope the guilty ones are always punished. I hope the victims will hold their heads up. This all must end. I hope nobody will cry from now on and the women won't suffer anymore.
Everybody has only one life. Just one life. Nobody has the right to destroy someone else's life. over, that those who commit evil are brought to justice. I hope those who suffered from what I suffered through will remain hopeful. I was never alone. I hope they will never feel alone. And that this is finally over. 